Now welcome to this Corp Maths primary video on rounding and rounding numbers to the nearest 100. So our first question asks us to round 165 to the nearest 100. So let's consider the multiples of 100 that are below 165 and above 165. So the multiple of 100 that is below 165 would be 100 and the multiple of 100 which is above 165 would be 200. And in the middle, so the number midway between 100 and 200 would be 150. So if we just consider where 165 would be, well, if this is 150, 165 is bigger than that. So it's going to be around about here somewhere. And so when we're asked to round 165 to the nearest 100, we just need to consider, is it closer to 100 or 200? And as you can see, because it's bigger than 150, it's going to be closer to 200. So our answer is 200. Okay, our next question. Our next question asks us to round 518 to the nearest 100. So again, the multiple of 100 that is below 118, or 518 would be 500, and above 518 would be 600. And midway between those two numbers would be 550. And if we consider where 518 would be, 518 would be here somewhere in our number line. So whenever we're asked to round 518 to the nearest 100, well, it's going to be closer to 500 than 600. So that means it rounds to 500. Okay, our next question. Our next question asks us to round 777 to the nearest 100. So our multiples of uh, 100 this, uh, that is below 777, so that's going to be 700. And above 777, that's going to be 800. And in the middle is 750. So 777, it's above halfway. It's going to be around about here somewhere. So as you can see, it's closer to 800 than it is to 700. So round it 777 to the nearest uh, 100. Our answer would be 800. Okay, our next question. Our next question asks us to round 645 to the nearest 100. Well, again, the multiple of 100 that is below 645 would be 600. And above 645 would be 700. And midway between those two numbers would be 650. Now, 645 is smaller than 650, so it would be round about here on the number line. So as you can see, it's closer to 600 than it is to 700. So when we're asked to round 645 to the nearest 100, our answer would be 600. Okay, next question. Right, so our next question asks us to round 850 to the nearest 100. So first of all, we know that the multiple of 100 that is below 850 would be 800, and above 850 would be 900. And in the middle of those two numbers is 850. Now, on the number line, well, 850 is neither closer to 800 or 900. But the rule is, whenever the number's in the middle, so whenever it's midway between the two numbers that we're rounding it to, we always round up, okay? So we're going to round this up to 900. So our answer will be 900. So if you're asked to round a number to the nearest 100, and it's something in 50, so like 850 or 350 or 2750, we always round up to the 100 above it. Okay, next question. Our next question asks us to round 1,832 to the nearest 100. So the multiple of 100 below 1,832 would be 1,800, and above it would be 1,900, and in the middle would be 1,850. Now, 1,832 would be around about here on the number line. So it's closer to 1,800 than it is to 1,900. So the answer is 1,800. And our last question, our last question asks us to round 1,954 to the nearest 100. Now, without using our number line here, let's have a go at this one, just looking at the numbers. So this is going to be in between 1,900 and 2,000. 1,950 is going to be in the middle. So this is above that. So it's going to be closer to 2,000 than it is to 1,900. So the answer would be 2,000. And just to show in the number line, 1,900 is the multiple below it, a multiple of 100 below it. 2,000 is the multiple of 100 above it. 1,950 is the number in the middle, and our number will be roughly here on the number line. So it's closer to 2,000 than it is to 1,900, and that's it.